Well, Arsenal's commitment to the women's team is most evident in the fact that they're playing the vast majority of their fixtures here at the Emirates Stadium. And the truth is that that commitment has seen Arsenal surge as one of the great sides in women's football. But they, like City, are still trying to prize the title away from Chelsea. And tried to just clip it round her and she almost succeeded. Now it's Arsenal with a chance. First a chance for the game, it drops in the box and Arsenal score! It was just a ball into the area, there was just a feeling that the Blues may have had it under control, they didn't. And Marnham followed up and rifled it into the goal. And having just got away with something at one end, Arsenal then score at the other. Very, very good goal from Arsenal, I must admit. From the back to the front, in the back of the net. This pass down the right-hand side here. Is it Kim Little that plays this pass? No, it's not. Sucked the full back in. What a pass that is. Lucky touch off the back of the car, but what a finish. Well, Marna was one of the players who was on the bench in the Champions League defeat in midweek, but brought into the starting 11 today. And she just thumped that into the back of the net. There was nothing City could do about it. And the ball over the top is a, a good one, and Yamashita's out of position, and Blackstenius could score, and she slid it into the side netting. And a yawning gap opened up down the centre. Yamashita came charging out almost into a position where she could be chipped. Blackstenius tried to go round her and didn't miss by much. Yeah, she was not in the best position then outside of area, not able to use her hands. I don't even think she knew where her own goal was in the end, but luckily it wasn't on target. But again, this is all coming from City's press. Arsenal are passing the way out of City's press. Something needs to change in City's press to stop, stop this Arsenal getting out. Has to go back to Yamashita again. Here's Alexandri towards the halfway line and beyond it and now City can drive forward with Hemp now Hasegawa midway inside the Arsenal half has to go back to Greenwood Hemp taking up an interesting position centrally and it's not a bad effort but not far enough away from Zinsberger that she had to extend herself too much but it was an attempt on target I like that from him, drifting in from wide, coming into central areas, getting in the pocket, getting on the half turn and getting a shot away. Here he is. Hemp takes the ball up by the byline, taps it back to Miedemar. City in and around the edge of the final third, a little back heel by Miedemar, it didn't quite come off. And then there's a little tussle on the edge of the area, Miedemar deflection goal! You knew she'd score, it was with the help of a deflection. I suspect the Arsenal supporters felt when they knew that Miedemar was in the City starting lineup that she would come back and haunt them. It's taken her almost 40 minutes to do so, but she has her first City WSL goal, and it's 1 1. Couple of megs in the build up as well, but the maturity, her one touch passing, playing the little rondos, trying to get the back heel, got the little megs on Kim Little, but what a finish just hits Kadina, doesn't it? I was actually screaming for handball. <laughs> it, it was going to be creeping in. Maybe the keeper would have saved it anyway, but the deflection obviously put it past the keeper. And a, a little celebration. And as Arsenal try to find a goal, and they might get one. Blackstenius through the middle. Good save. Really good stop by Yamashita. The angles were good. The gaps were small. And I think it came off her right thigh and span away. Blackstenius right on half time could have put Arsenal back in front. Good goalkeeping by Yamashita. Just looking back at that chance, a through ball down the middle. Blackstenius through on goal, and that's a really good save by Yamashita. So far, they haven't really got Bunny Shaw in the game, but I'll just pause that thought because Arsenal are on the edge of the City penalty area. They've worked it out wide to Caldente, puts it in, good ball, Marnham across the face of the goal. Is that okay. offside? Yes, it is. It, it looked offside, and I suspect Ford thought it was offside as she put it in the back of the goal because a celebration was mooted. But Arsenal scored in inverted commas, but Ford was offside. Yeah, big let off for City here. Great. Oh, is that offside? 
Ooh, VAR might have, if it was involved, might have thought otherwise, but the flag goes up still with Greenwood. Little clip over the top looking towards Shaw, but Wadden Moy got there first for Gino. On it goes to Miedemar. Miedemar out wide to Hemp on this near side. Hemp's ball in is dangerous and cleared, but only as far as Park, who hits it in! Oh, my God! Jess Park off the underside of the crossbar! It bounced up, she was 24 metres, maybe further from goal, hit it, and it hit the underside of the bar, bounced it over the line, and it's City 2, Arsenal 1, and Jess Park with a thunderbolt. Out of nothing, it's exactly what I was saying before, she's not really been in the, in the game today, Jess Park, but that's exactly what she can do. I was thinking as soon as it set to her here, I was thinking, get your shot away, get your shot away, I never thought she was going to have enough time, but she did, and that's what she can produce, and she puts her team ahead 2-1. Hemp's cross into the area was cleared. It broke to the edge of the D, and Jess Park steadied herself and on the volley hit it towards the left side of the goal as she was looking at it. And all that anyone in the stadium, including Zinsberger, could do was watch and wonder. And it hit the underside of the bar, bounced well over the line, and it's 2 1 to City. Ooh, challenge from behind on Kelly. Referee says play on. Kelly thinks that must be a foul, but there is no foul. And into the penalty area go Arsenal, and it's off the inside of the post, and then turned over the line for an equaliser. And on came a substitute, Beth Mead, and she's had an impact. Well, the Blues are complaining about a couple of things in that build-up, but they can't have any excuse now because it is 2-2, and Beth Mead levels the count. Alex Greenwood is saying that was surely a foul in the build-up. She's been booked for arguing. Is that a foul? No. I don't know if the first challenge was, and then... Clever from McCabe just to flick yeah. it over it, carry on. Play the ball forward and... What? Well, we're looking at it again and again and again. The referee waved play on. Suddenly City was stretched. The ball into the box was a good one. The cross was dangerous and it broke and Meads to lose it. In her own final third now defending Hasegawa. Trying to get the ball back. Arsenal now with plenty forward, but the referee concludes it. Jonas Eidfeld can't believe it. He said, how come the whistle's been blown with our team on the attack? What an extraordinary end to the match. He's complaining to everybody and anybody. Gareth Taylor shakes the hand of Jonas Eidfeld.